Hello everyone, Bridget Casey, and I'm so honored today to be the guest designer for the Alt New Mixed Media blog. We're going to get started, and today we're going to start with a Celestial Paper Pack. It's a 6x6 six six pack from Alt New, and there's so many gorgeous images in there, of course. We're also going to start with the Splatter Hot Foil Plate. So I've got that in my GoPress foil machine, and it's already warmed up, so I can put my Silver Spellbinders foil on there, and then put my cardstock on on top of it and I'm gonna let it sit there for just a minute so that it uh, impresses the hot foil on there so move it around unhook it and then we will run it through the die cutting machine you can see the imprint on the screen it's super cool so the back looks really cool as well as the front so we're using the front today though all the shiny so I cut my cardstock down because my pockets are four and a quarter by six and a quarter we're going to be using the Endless Fluorescence for the Sub Sentiment and the You Matter die set with Gilded Cardstock for the Main Sentiment. I love this font and size of the word you. It is just, it's, oh, it's, it's just gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. So I did struggle. I almost did two pages, uh, a double page layout, a small one, um, but I decided to stick with one and to go with the, the landscape orientation as opposed to the portrait orientation. So here I'm trying to get my sentiment lined up. My sentiment is uh, are a warrior, a fighter, and a survivor. And you'll see in my journaling why I chose this. So I'm gonna put embossing ink, I did anti-static powder and heat set it with antique gold embossing powder and trim that down. So here goes the journaling. Uh, basically, it's saying that I've been through a lot of things in the past few years and that I hear a lot of people say the word resilient um, and that kind of sticks with me. <laughs> so it's it's hard to be resilient. Um, I'm proud that I am, but I'm kind of tired of having to be resilient, I guess. So um, I, I kind of journaled with that. And just the fact that uh, my husband is there in everything I do and, you know, supporting me, cheering me on and uh, providing that backup, even though I can't feel it or see it, but it's there. So I you know, sometimes I don't include my journaling, um, but I just, I thought that this, you know, I wanted to show you ways to include journaling on a page where journaling kind of didn't fit. Uh, so I did include that and I included the whatever is done by only me is done with him. Um, kind of a play on, uh, at his funeral, I read the E.E. E. Cummings, uh, I carry your heart, whatever is done by only me, me dear is done by both of us. So it was kind of a play on that for me. So just kind of give you a little bit more information. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our glue and get this glued down to our panel. My goal today was to show you how to do mixed media without getting uh, any pastes or sprays or anything really wet. I know we have a wet adhesive, but you could use a dry adhesive. But I just wanted to show you that mixed media does not have to be messy. I think a lot of us think that it does have to. So I didn't want a lot of bulk, so I'm using cast off uh, journaling. <laughs> I cut it into squares and I'm using it to put it behind my photo. So my photo pops up just a scotch, um, but not really that much. You can kind of see a little cast off journaling there. And so I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to glue that down. I will put two thin foam uh, 3D squares behind my sub sentiment and put that over my picture. I use the thin ones because again, I don't want a lot of bulk in my album. But I hope this challenges you to create a mixed media page uh, that, you know, is quote unquote dry. You know, you don't have to get the pastes and the, the all the wonderful things out, the inks and everything. Uh, it's fun too, uh, but there are some days when you just want to keep it a little cleaner in the craft room because <laughs> we know we all get super, super messy and have fun when we do. So I'm just showing you how it goes into the page and it will be a landscape page for me and then I will just tuck my journaling in the back and then I thought well okay we'll glue it down because it's going to be there. But look at the back of that uh, celestial the imprint that the hot foil left on that side so that would be a cool side to do as well. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope this again inspires you to get out some different types of things and throw them together on a page and maybe even a photo journal page. If you wanted to leave the photo off, you could and just put your journaling on the front as well. So until next time, I hope you stay safe and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.